All right, hello, this is uh, Liam Fardell, top eight orange regional in New South Wales, playing, what were you playing? Uh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth? What did you think about the deck? Uh, the deck formed really well, I think it's the best deck of the format. Um, I think it's better than Fire, doesn't matter what anyone says. Okay, you're a bit stupid, all right, let's go. <laughs> all right, so for the main deck we have uh, Shari Ariane, best card of the deck, Searcher, search you pretty much any left card you want. Um, two Arias, I was running three, I felt it was too clunky, so I'm just running two now. Um, tribute it off, uh, set a uh, trap, use it that turn, or special summon monster. Normally, if you open these two, you just want to tribute this off. Summon Ariane, even if they impermanent, this floats and then uh, comes back out. So then you can um, essentially synchro it off, make a Chaos Angel if you have like big weapon and stuff in Grave, or you can just uh, link it off, make Muckcracker, SP, at least you have a stronger board in turn one. Um, one lady, one lovely, I was running two lady. Um, I cut it down to one because it just got too clunky. Um, between Ariane, all your furnitures and what well, you're playing, nine versions of a welcome card to get to it, you don't really need more than one. Um, you never really, like if you see it in your hand, it's not bad, but if you don't, you don't really care. Um, and then just the standard furniture, three Storby, three Chandelier, and one Ku Klok. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Ku Klok's the best one. Um, most of the time, if you have access to these, you just want to search Ku Klok so you can use the trap you set off. Mm. Um, lady that turn. So then um, why did you pick Furniture Lab over Trap Lab? I was playing Math Lab for a bit. Um, I felt like it was a lot better last format. I think this format, um, it just gives you more options going second. Um, this with Furniture, essentially, I think on... I only won one dice roll and three of those four games, I two owed them. Um, so uh, thanks to the Furniture. Pretty much when I was playing Math Lab, I felt like unless they... I drew Arias turn one, or they didn't set up like the best board. Um, I felt like it was pretty hard to actually break the, the boards these formats. That's why I switched to um, Furniture. Fair Ikea enough. is the best one. Uh, and then the last three monsters are, obviously you follow us, you kind of need this card if you want to win any game in this format, even though it's a ridiculously expensive card. Best card of the format and you need three, otherwise you will not win. Um, okay. Onto the spells, only four spells, three extravagance, plus one. Um, sometimes it's pretty good to bait the ash as well, especially if you open only one of your welcome traps It's very unlikely they have two ash in hand, if they do it's just unlucky um, If not, you get a plus one and just extends further Just make sure you use this first um, in your main phase So obviously if you have furniture and you do want to use it, make sure to use it in the draw or standby phase um, Don't like try to normal an Ariane and then use this, otherwise you will get sharked and you'll look like an idiot I've done that before um, And one Labyrinth Labyrinth, this card honestly is probably the best deck of the best card of the deck um, if you don't know what it does, when you activate a set welcome card, it adds a pop to that card, which obviously triggers all your furniture, uh, your lady, and your Ariane. Um, and then if you activate a non-labyrinth trap, whether it's set or not, so if you activate like an impulse from hand, you get a monster reborn. Um, so you can bring back um, Ariane, search again, you can bring back a lady, you can bring back a lovely. There was one game I actually had a Chaos Angel in uh, my grave. I set an imperm, imperm the first thing, summoned out Chaos Angel and uh, got an extra penny, so it's just extra removal. It's really good going first, not so good going second, but you can keep it in just depending on the matchup. Uh, onto the traps, three big welcome and three welcome, pretty self-explanatory. I was playing uh, only two of the welcomes, but I felt like there were times where I would not get enough engine, even though you're playing essentially, I think it's like 17 version, uh, 17 ways to get to it between the furniture, trap tricks, um, and the six themselves. Um, I just feel like three is always good because um, not only does it recycle, you can always trap tricks into it. Um, it sets itself from grave, so it's just really good to have as much engine as possible. Um, three Daruma, pretty much the only, I guess, reactive or stun kind of card you're playing uh, in the traps now. I was playing things like Dogmatica and Terrors, um, but I felt like the deck almost got simpler when I cut down the traps to pretty much just a Daruma. Pretty much the game plan is to stall them or to stop them getting to a board. And if they do get to a board, you just Daruma them and then pretty much um, it's going to hurt every deck. Three trap tricks, obviously just extra um, extra welcomes, big welcomes, Darumas, pretty much. If you'll notice, all the traps are at three except for rollbacks, which are at two, which we'll get to later. Um, so pretty much this can get you to any other trap. Um, obviously you can chain it with Lady as well, which is pretty good. There was one game where some guy uh, dusted me um, and I had a rollback in Grave. Um, and I think I was playing against Cat, so I actually went uh, Trap Tricks, banished a rollback, oh, sorry, banished a D-Barrier. This was game two. 
uh, set the debury, the debury went to grave and then uh, roll back copy the debury in grave and he got very mad and lost the game. Uh, three Empam, don't mind the one gold rare, believe it or not the gold rare is actually the best because I drew it the most. Um, pretty self explanatory card, it's really really good to have, you always want to see it, even if you see two, it's still not bad because most of the time you're going to stop them doing anything. Um, probably the best card and the only reason I played uh, this version of live is because I found three Dominus Impulse about a day before the regionals, otherwise I probably would have stuck to the old build. Um, card nuts, I think it is on par, if not better than full loss, specifically in this deck. Um, it's just an extra trap so you can chain it with your lady to set or you like I said you do get the reborn effect with the lab lab card um, If you don't know what it does, it just stops anything that's special summons essentially So uh, I use it against Promethean a few times in Grave to obviously stop them extending You use it on Spoils, Ash, um, anything like that And against the Centurion whenever they try to push up from their spell and trap You can just pretty much stop their whole plays with one card And the last two cards of the deck uh, rollback, like I mentioned. Um, one, probably not enough. Three is obviously too many. Um, it's really good. Very rarely you're actually setting it. You're mainly just discarding it off your furniture. There are a few times where I would set it knowing that they have an imperm in the grave. Um, but it is a little bit risky because then you can't actually, you only get to use one of their effects per turn. So if you copy the imperm in the grave, you have to wait till next turn to use the banish effect. Um, cool. That so was the main deck. How much was the main deck? Uh, 41. 41. 41. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there was honestly ever a game that I bricked, so it performed really well. Um, we'll get to the extra deck. Um, one Baguska, store card, if you ever need it. I actually didn't summon it at all this tournament, but I have summoned it before in testing. It has come up, has won me some games. It's never really a bad card to have. Worst comes to worst, you can just, um, if it's ever getting threatened or you just get rid of the two materials and you stalled enough, you can just be welcome, bounce this back, um, and then resolve all your effects in grave. Uh, Abyss Dweller pretty much kills fire. Um, I never actually summoned it, but in theory it's a good card because um, there are games where you are going to make a ring fall with two Arians. Typhon, obvious reasons, kind of most decks will play Typhon. Um, you know, it's just essentially two removals. You bounce one, swing over one. Sometimes it can win you games, sometimes it can lose you games. Um, but yeah, you kind of have to play it. Uh, Moon is a Close Heaven and Goddess. I played these two because there were some problem monsters. Um, cats specifically, because one of my friends plays cats quite regularly. Um, whenever he got to a Noir, it was actually pretty, you, most of the time you just lose the game. But if they're not that good, you can uh, just moon into Underworld Goddess. And if you get Underworld Goddess out, you're in a really good spot because the card's really good. Um, one Nightmare Phoenix for back row hate. Um, sometimes if they run things like uh, D-Fissures, which are side quite regularly, this card gets you over it because you struggle with D-Fissures because obviously you can't send your things to the grave. One dark is just for link climbing and to get some cards out of their grave. Uh, two, Muckcracker. Muckcracker is really good. Um, if you don't know what it does, you can tribute it whenever a fiend will be destroyed by a battle or card effect, which I used a few times. Um, and then once per turn, you can discard one card and revive back a fiend. Uh, two, SP. I would probably put this to three, um, just because there were a few times where I banished two of them and uh, it would have probably come up. And then three, Chaos Angel. I am missing one confirmation deck, which I brought up a friend, which was Gargoyle Cowboy. I thought in theory, if I go into time, I can just make that detach and pretty much win the game. Um, I never got into a position where I ever thought Gargoyle Cowboy would be good, so I'd probably cut a Gargoyle for an SP. And then the side deck, three Ash Blossom, obviously for siding when you're going first, uh, second, sorry, three Shifter. Um, you can play this deck with shift, obviously you'd side out most of your furniture, not all of it, you know, you'd probably, I uh, most of the time found myself starting out going second, you know, two rollbacks, maybe one of each furniture, and the lab lab, if I'm starting in these six cards, Ash, because obviously it's the best hand trap you can play, and Shifter, because it's most relevant decks this format, um, pretty self-explanatory. I played three lord of the heavenly prison for going first i think it's a pretty shit card i would cut it if i'm being honest i never think there was there was never really a position that i was in where i'm like oh, i'm so glad i have this card in my hand in theory obviously you reveal it activate a trap you can then summon it set a trap from your deck and then bounce it back with something like big welcome to trigger all your other effects but like i said i'd probably cut it for something like uh, another floodgate like rivalry and maybe like two cosmics i just feel like they do more this format um this doesn't really do a lot for me and it really was quite a brick and anytime I drew it I just discarded it anyway. Uh, 2D barrier, obviously Tempai is still a deck which is really annoying. Kind of have to play the deck and 
uh, the card I'm giving you of Trap Tricks and Lady is pretty accessible. So um, most uh, games that you side this in, you will be resolving it to some degree. And then whenever you resolve this card against the deck that it hurts, um, you're pretty much winning the game, whether it's Centurion, Cats, um, even Fire if you want. I don't think it's good against siding against Fire, but it certainly at least stops an Omni Negate, um, which can affect them and stop them extending. Uh, three Judgments, for obvious reasons, pretty much stops everything. Stops Lightning, Storm and Duster, which I guess are your two main concerns with this deck. Um, losing to things like um, Evenly, Duster and Lightning Storm, they're your worst matchups. So specifically Evenly matched, so this pretty much stops that. And the one Anti-Spell Fragrance, purely because it stops the Duster Lightning Storm and it hurts Fire uh, a lot. So yeah, that's the whole deck. Overall, um, really good deck, really happy with how it performed. I actually got a tournament coming on the, this Saturday. So I will be playing it again. Um, the only change I would make is, like I said, the Lord of Heavenly Prisons in the side deck and the Gaga Cowboy for an extra SP. Thanks for watching. Cool. Any shout outs? Uh, shout out to Tori. He came with me, he played Cats. He actually topped eight as well. Um, and shout out to my other mate, Brandon, who's recording, who played Rooney Whitewood, which we told him is a shit deck, but he's committed to it. So yeah, thanks guys. Okay.